Hello, beautiful souls. And with walking away reversed, it's telling them that if they don't say something, you're either going to walk away or maybe you already did walk away and separate from this divine masculine. And their guidance is telling them, even though they've set a boundary or walked away, you have to speak up, you have to communicate this. But they're sitting on that piece of communication with rest and rejuvenation upright. So, I want to know, is this divine masculine going to communicate what's on their intuition? What's on their third eye chakra here? Because I know that's something a lot of you probably are curious to know. Okay, Knight of Wands reversed and the Seven of Swords upright. They're in very much of a maybe energy. I know that's a frustrating answer, but it feels like the divine masculine right now is right on the fence of something, right on the fence of saying something, communicating something. And you are probably feeling that right on the fence energy if you are the divine feminine here. And what's holding them back from communicating this? What's holding them back from just jumping in? Okay, so I'm getting that we have the Knight of Swords. They don't want to be restless or reckless. They don't want to be impulsive. A part of them, I should say, does want to be impulsive, but a part of them sees whatever they want to say as being very impulsive or perhaps like wishful thinking, not knowing how you, Divine Feminine, might respond to this communication. Also seeing you in this Ten of Pentacles and Empress energy, in this highly abundant, highly magnetic, empowered energy, and feeling a little bit intimidated possibly, also wondering if they truly have something valuable to offer to your life at this time, not wanting to disrupt your flow. But I do have to say that as they work through all of those hesitations, the card that came out finally at the end of what I'll call their excuses, all of these excuses, feeds hesitations, should I say something. Would it be too impulsive to reach out to the Divine Feminine or to communicate this message? But ultimately, being blindly led forward with the star card by this spiritual energy that's really your magnetism pulling them into that six of wands, that yes energy, that jumping in, that breakthrough. So, I do see very likely that communication will be coming in eventually from this divine masculine. It's hard to speak to exact time frames because of course we're all on different timelines and it's really all about energy alignment as opposed to the physical 3D notions of timing. But I do want to just channel some final messages from the seventh chakra center, the crown chakra. What's happening for this divine masculine? There is an energy of breaking free from some kind of stuck cycle. That's what's coming out most strongly on the crown chakra. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a moonology card. What stuck cycle related to this masculine's divine nature is breaking free? A card just flew out. Wow. This card is Communication is Key, New Moon in Gemini. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.